Hi all and uh, welcome back to a small help video. Today we are going to talk about Wi-Fi and network issues. Not able to connect to your local Wi-Fi. Then have a look at these tips and tricks that I have for you today. First of all, the first thing you should always do is to reboot both your iPad, iPhone and of course also your Wi-Fi router. So. Uh, Start with your device, your iPad, your iPhone. Do a simple reboot of that device. Do a quick clean. I will just keep my power button down until it goes off. And within a few seconds, you can see it will start up again. So this is cleaning the memory on your device. Just making sure that everything is fresh and clear and that it is able to start up again and have a new connection to your Wi-Fi. If this doesn't work, then uh, have a look at your Wi-Fi router. I have my Google Wi-Fi here. I can turn it upside down and down here I can simply just unplug the access point and put it into the power again and it will restart and within a few seconds I would be able to connect to my Wi-Fi again. I see a lot of issues connected to the Wi-Fi router so make sure to restart your router so that network setup is clean and fresh and don't have a issue. Next thing up, after you have restarted your device and your router, then we will have a look at the Wi-Fi settings. So go into settings, go into Wi-Fi and up here you will be able to turn off and turn on your Wi-Fi. And uh, that is also a good idea to uh, try a few times just to make sure that your Wi-Fi is trying to connect on a fresh start. Another thing you can also have a look at is the airplane mode. You can turn the airplane mode on. Make sure the Wi-Fi is off again. And turn the, wi uh, the airplane mode off. And see if your device is able to connect. If this is not the case, then go into your Wi-Fi and uh, at the top of the Wi-Fi setting, uh, you can say forget this network and try and push the button forget. Go back and connect to your Wi-Fi again and see if you are able to connect to your Wi-Fi now. I've seen that help a lot when you forget the network. For some reason, the device has misconfigured or misunderstood the password or whatever. Uh, so just simply forgetting the network could also be a good option to solve this problem. Next thing up is of course to have a look at the, at the settings. So down here we have the transfer and reset iPad. So resetting your iPad and uh, first, I would recommend you to reset your network settings. Just simply click that one, put in your passcode and it will reset all your network settings. Also be aware, it will also reset your Bluetooth settings. So if you have a connection to your Bluetooth or whatever, then make sure to reconnect those uh, Bluetooth devices again. If the reset of the Wi-Fi doesn't work, then I would recommend you to go for the next one and that is reset all settings. So again, do the exact same thing. Put in your passcode and the whole uh, device will then be reset. So that is all settings on the whole device. So not only network settings. Uh, it will still keep all your content, all your pictures, all your documents, whatever you have on the iPad, but all the settings for 
Wi-Fi, uh, VPN connections and things like that will disappear. And that also makes me just want to say that if you use VPN connections on your uh, device, then make sure to also try and erase all your VPN connections uh, on your device if you're not able to connect to your local network. Sometimes that is also causing a lot of issues with the Wi-Fi connection. So uh, hopefully uh, that is something that you can use. One last thing is to have a look at your DNS settings. So down here, you can actually configure your local DNS. So in here, you will be able to choose either automatic or a manual uh, DNS. And one I would recommend you to try is the Google DNS. And that is also the one I have put in here, but just simply click the add server. And in here you should put in some numbers and the numbers are 8.8.8.8. Simple as that. And now it will start using the Google DNS instead of your local DNS or whatever DNS you have tried. So that is also sometimes an issue that the DNS is not working. You are not able to look up websites, whatever you are trying to look up on your uh, device. So put in the 8.8.8 DNS and see if that could be a fix for your issue. That was all I had for you today. Hopefully you uh, had some uh, good input to try out some of your own uh, troubleshooting steps and see if that can help your Wi-Fi issue. If you have any questions, put it in the comments section. If you like this video and it helped you, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And uh, let's uh, see you at the next video. Thank you for this and goodbye.